All right, let's factor the equation x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. And we could use the quadratic equation for this, but let's give it a try just by figuring out the factors that go into 10, and then we figure out the middle term here. So we start out with a skeleton here. So we have our skeleton here. That kind of guides our work as we do this. So we have a negative and a negative. So if both the middle term and the last term are negative, we're going to put a plus and then a minus. So let's do that, plus and minus. That gets us started. At this point, we want to look at the factors for the last term. 10, and they should equal that middle term. So we're looking at the last term, factors of 10. 1 times 10, but we can't really add those together anyway to get 3. 2 times 5, that would work. So if we had a negative 5 and then the positive 2, that might give us that negative 3 in the center. Let's work this out. Use the FOIL method here. First terms, x times x, that gives us x squared outside x times negative 5. Inside, 2 times x, that gives us plus 2x. And then the last terms, 2 times negative 5 gives us negative 10. And if we combine these here, we'll get x squared minus 3x minus 10. That equals the 0 here. So that's the same thing as we have up here. So we did this correctly. We factored the equation x squared minus 3x minus 10 correctly. Let's find the values for x now that'll make this equation, all of this here, be 0. So it's a true statement. We can do that by saying x plus 2 equals 0, and then x would equal negative 2. Over here, x minus 5 equals 0, so x equals a positive 5. So if we put negative 2 in for x and we did the math, all of this would equal 0. 0 equals 0. Likewise, if we put 5 in for x, we do the math, all of this will equal 0. So these are the solutions here to our equation. If you use the quadratic equation, you'd get the same answer. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. Thanks for watching.